great day here at GSR 17 in Nassau, Bahamas. We continue our discussions with Isabel Morrow. She is the head of digital communications industry for the World Economic Forum. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you. Now, you all have recently joined the ITU development sector as a member. Talk a little bit about why you thought that was a good fit and what future plans are for cooperation. Well, I think obviously, um, you know, in particular, the, the industry that I represent is, is uh, the, the work that the ITU does is, is crucial. Um, but we've been working already very closely with the ITU, uh, in particular in the area of connecting the unconnected. Um, you know, the, the ITU has a broadband commission, uh, which are the, the activities have been led by, by the ITU for, for many years. Um, and we have uh, an activity or initiative which is called Internet for All. So we've been collaborating for uh, many years on, uh, on, on, you know, framing the same issues. And in fact, at our annual meeting in Davos this year, uh, we had the Secretary General of the ITU and we hosted a joint session, which was the whole afternoon with the broadband commissioners uh, and the CEOs and, and ministers, you know, that we invited to Davos. So we just see this as a natural evolution from this collaboration that we already have. Uh, and hopefully in the area of development, uh, you know, try to, uh, to foster many more initiatives um, to, to connect many more people um, to, to, to the Internet. And of course, GSR 17 is another great opportunity to have those discussions. This year's theme is living mm -hmm. in a world of digital opportunities. What, in your view, are today's digital opportunities? Well, there are many, and, and you know, I think the digital opportunities are not uh, just about ICT and what we can bring. I think we are seeing that the world is, is being transformed by digitalization, and that really cuts across all sectors, you know, from transport to logistics, health. Uh, so we are seeing the opportunities growing uh, in many sectors, and in particular, our industry is having a tremendous impact, you know, on, on, on this digitalization. Um, we did a study recently uh, which, you know, um, looked at the impact of, of digital transformation and we saw the findings where that for instance in the areas that I was mentioning of connecting the unconnected the increased connectivity could bring a value to you know nearly uh, 450 billion dollars oh. to society uh, and industry another area which I think will have tremendous impact and, and bring tremendous opportunities is, is the connected devices so the IOT Internet of Things um, and this, again, is an area where I think the findings of our study established that we are going to have and see a potential value of $350 billion, uh, dollars, you know, on, um, on the society. So all these areas, I think, are, are really crucial. Um, but last and not least, and I think it's very topical in a, in a meeting like, like GSR, is also the building the ecosystem. You know, in order to make these opportunities happen, we need to have policy frameworks in place that are going to be very conducive uh, to, to the flexibility that, that this uh, industrial, fourth industrial revolution, if you want, digital revolution is, is really commanding. Um, so public-private partnerships, but also cross-sector partnership is going to be uh, really one of the drivers, I think, of making making this uh, a success. So the World Economic Forum has identified the opportunities, has identified the benefits. How do the industry, how does the industry get together to ensure that people benefit from these? You talked about the framework, the public-private mm -hmm. sector partnership. What else can be done? So we do a lot of the, the initiatives that we are doing. Um, so our role really as a public-private international organization is to bring governments and industry, civil societies, NGOs together. Uh, and that's how we think these opportunities are created. And increasingly what we are doing is doing initiatives on the ground. Mm -hmm. uh, so in-country initiatives. Now, the ITU is getting ready for another major mm -hmm. event in October, the World Telecommunications Development Conference in Argentina. This year's conference will set the ITU's agenda for the next four years, so it's a pretty major event. Mm -hmm. And the theme focuses on the importance of information and communications technologies in accelerating the achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals. So talk a little bit about the importance yeah. of that. So the, uh, the sustainable goal, the SDGs, uh, is very, it's, it's very crucial. It's on our agenda across all the industries that I mentioned, mm -hmm. you know, the 20 industries that we, we represent. In fact, we are going to be hosting a um, sustainable impact summit uh, in New York during the UN General Assembly, uh, where really we are going to be looking at, you know, how we are doing as, as a community and as an industry in addressing those, those SDGs. Um, for, for our side, there are, again, there are areas where, where we are working. For instance, uh, this year we are launching a, a project which I think is going to be key to the SDGs. Uh, it's looking at IoT and how IoT 
uh, you know, can help sustainable development. Uh, and in fact, we have been already looking in our sector at around, I think, more than 600 case studies of deployments of IoTs and how these address the SDGs. And we found out that, in particular, they seem to focus on three areas. One is on infrastructure, one is on city innovations, and another one is on carbon emissions, you know, reducing carbon emissions. So we really want to work and see how can we make uh, if you want IoT, you know, how can we develop pilots um, and how can we look at business models that A, are bringing together the sustainable viability, commercial viability of IoT with the objectives that we are setting ourselves or governments are setting in terms of achieving the SDGs. Um, and we'll be looking at how can we make those replicable, um, you know, to, so to adapt to other sectors or other areas and how can we make them scalable. So where they're already successful, how can we make that even more uh, scalable? A lot of work to be done, but looks like a lot of co yeah. cooperation, and I don't think it's too big of a goal. No, I think I think cooperation is key, and we see it today, and we see that every meeting that we are doing at the forum, and and we really do believe it's the way forward for you know the complex world that we are living in today. That we need to work together hand in hand with with governments. Okay, let's get back to GSR mm -hmm. 17 very briefly before we let you go. This yeah. is the first time that this event, or something of this magnitude, has been held in the Caribbean region, the mm -hmm. second time for the Americas. How has it been for you so far? It's been great. I mean, the, the location couldn't have been, you know, <laughs> better chosen. Uh, no, it, it has been it has been really fantastic, and, and I think there is a good turnout of, of you know over eighty countries. Uh, so for us, it's it's a it's a very big opportunity to meet with with the regulators and uh, and have a chance to discuss you know our, our common agendas and, and priorities. Okay. So yes, very successful. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Thank you. Thanks for joining us and enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you.